Olivia? What? what? Um, you, you should come out now. We're, we, you've been in there for a while. Are you all right? Yeah. What are you... Okay. What? I said I'm peeing. Okay. That's what I said. All right. Yeah. So we're here with music director and Big B, James Chavez Galica. <laughs> um, it has been uh, quoted by some um, that um, the third at the ballet will probably make it to Broadway. Um, how do you feel about this? I thought we had that contract signed already. I, I thought it was, but uh, apparently it wasn't. I absolutely think it will end up on Broadway, um, <laughs> you know, at the, uh, at the Henny Youngman Theater, and I think it'll be fabulous. <laughs> With Sean Nill, who has uh, unfortunately lost his voice because he's in the Wiz at Sac State, and it's just been pretty uh, taxing on his on his body. Um, Sean, how did you feel about the rehearsal tonight? Good. I felt good because Alex is amazing and was there to help me. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's great. Good. And uh, what would you say was probably the most difficult part um, tonight? Not for being an idiot. It was hard any time Alex left the room because I needed his help. I didn't know what to do because he was gone. You know. Right. You know. Yeah. I totally understand. Yeah. Totally. So, how, but how are you feeling so far about the show? Uh, about how rehearsals have gone over the past. Uh, Five, six Alex weeks. has made the show amazing. Alex Stewart is the best director slash singer slash dancer slash choreographer in the world. He's amazing. Excellent. Mm. I love him. Awesome. I think everybody should listen to him from now on because he's amazing. All right. Thanks, Sean. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Sean yes. Nell. Bye, Bye, Sean. Okay, so we're here with Brick Ashley Middlecalf of the Sacramento <laughs> Ballet, who is going to kind of be in at the ballet. And you had your first rehearsal with us tonight, Brick. How did you feel? Um, it was interesting. I was panicking, and um, I mean, I finally got the words out. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I definitely still need the lyrics in front of me, but um, it was it was interesting. It was very, very, very scary. <laughs> Were you a little intimidated? Very. When everybody spit out all their harmonies and... Yeah, and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna pretend. <laughs> no, you did good, though. So, Alex, how do you feel the show is going so far? I think it's going really well. I'm really um, excited about this cast, and I'm really excited about the way the show's been going. We finally got our posters printed out. <gasps> That's just one of them. Wow. We'll be hanging out around, hanging out around town. Who do you feel is the strongest? Uh, probably Diego. Diego. And uh, it's also been uh, quoted by some uh, that At the Ballet um, is probably the greatest show ever produced and will not only make it to Broadway but change the world as we know it. How do you feel about that? Well, the first one already began that change. I think. I think the Aztecs and the Mayans were referring to at the ballet when they talked about the major change. And with the third at the ballet in 2012, that change will be manifested so that the entire planet and their spirits shall forever be altered and grow. We will become unified. There will be no war, no famine, and we will live in harmony and peace. Do you regularly wear women's underwear? Yes, I do. Try one. So now we are vlogging, the first vlog for Olivia Hughes for At The Ballet 2. Louder, Shut faster. Up. For At The Ballet 2, louder, faster, funnier. Olivia, how have you felt so far about the process? Um, you know, it's, it's been great. I'm just, I'm a little disappointed with some of my colleagues. Um, I, I, I like to address some rumors that are being spread around about my <laughs> drug use. 
<laughs> drugs? <laughs> I don't do drugs. I don't touch the stuff. Whoa! You got to... Whoa, get off the get, to... get away! I just want to get some... <laughs> The most difficult part about directing the show is directing people who you think are more talented than yourself. Because I had that issue with the last show, and I remember talking to you about that. And it's really scary to not to you feel like you have to get the respect from everybody and and that, to get them to take the show seriously, and and it's hard to do that when you feel like you know and they know that it's that they're better, that they they have better voices and they're better actors and so that's that's probably the scariest part and showing the confidence that I need to show in order to gain that respect and motivation from all of them I don't want to I don't want to brag or anything but sometimes I just just feel like you know I, I mean I'm going to DC next week so you know heads and tails above the competition and I what, mean not the competition <laughs> we're, we're a cast can you explain what you're going to Washington DC for um just an acting competition. Nationals. National acting competition. Yeah. Important stuff. The president's going to be there. And, you know, Obama. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> All well, right. Well, it's also been quoted by some that Alex is the better looking of the two Stewart brothers. Um, how do you feel about that? They both have their beauty. Uh, unique. You know how, for example, a Shih Tzu and a Pug are both darling puppies? Well, I think the Stewart boys kind of qualify as a Shih Tzu and a Pug. And the Shih Tzu, huh? Olivia's trying to... I was just looking at the ...distract dog. from my... I wasn't... I was... Oh. Excuse you. <laughs> anyway. <But> anyway <laughs> I have a disease, okay? Yeah. You have a drug problem is what you have. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, how was it working with James again? We get to work with James again. Yeah, you told me to stop singing. <laughs> <laughs> Not because she was bad. No, because I'm recovering from a cold. <laughs> James is a great vocal coach. Like he's so he's so sweet and like he, he understands. He doesn't, you know, push anyone to a point that they can't do it and it's just yeah, like I, I like his technique a lot. It just it, it's been helping me a lot. Yeah, Ryan is just trifling. <laughs> Ryan was trifling tonight. Ryan was super trifling. He was... He was Ryan, stupid. Okay. <laughs> he was having a rough time. Ramblin' did, did not know his musicals tonight. Can, can we reenact? Okay, yeah. who's, so, okay, okay, let's reenact what happened. Ryan? I'll be Ryan. I'll be Ryan. I'll be you be James. James. Okay. Everybody okay. else say, everybody else say, kiss me, Kate. Okay? okay? This is what happened. Brownie points. What oh. musical is this from? What musical is this from? Kiss me, kiss me, kiss me. Annie, get your gun! <laughs> that was f***ing like... <laughs> <laughs> you like a... <laughs> yeah, into the couch. He's uh, like, I never get it wrong. <laughs> How do you think all the company members are going to feel about you being in the show? Oh, man. <laughs> um, I think they'll be pretty, I don't know, surprised with, I don't know, what happens. I'm really excited to be in it, although I'm a little... I'm very, 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 very nervous, but um, I think they'll they'll like it. Hopefully, they won't make fun of me too much. <laughs> Do you want to explain to everybody okay. what just happened this to you? This is the real Olivia right now. We're not pretending. No more drugs. Sean just left me. Gave me a ride and everything. My car is in lot eleven at Sac State. I'm stranded here. I don't remember him leaving either. Did he left with out? Ruby. Did he really? Yeah. Are you sure they're not just making yeah, out outside? Just, just, just they could be making out outside. Yeah. Sean Nil. Sean Nil. Oh. Not right now, please. No, 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 I'm saying, are you still here? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, because Olivia's. Okay. Oh, he's scared at us. Oh.